Hello folks, welcome Maximum RD here, and I've just come upstairs from the downstairs lobby picking up a package. Now please bear with me as this is my first time using this little handheld camcorder, having replaced my old Samsung digital camera slash uh, camcorder, which broke recently. This is one of those Kodak handheld devices. It doesn't have image stabilization, so I am trying to be as steady as possible while shooting with one hand and while manipulating this large package. So, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, if you remember my unboxing uh, quite some time ago with uh, ColecoVision uh, controllers, You'll remember that that was a pretty rough video. This is also going to be fairly rough, but let's see if we can get through it. Now, I have a little more uh, preparation this time. Hopefully, things will go a little smoother. As I open this package, now on the outside it says Corona Bar Stool, uh, Bar Stool, basically. It's an interesting package, to be sure. However, that's not what's in it. You're going to see what's in it now as I open the package. I had obtained online what uh, should be a fairly good condition um, system here. Also keeping in mind that I haven't had one of these in many, many years. It's a machine by Commodore. Yes, a very common, famous machine. Let me see if I can prop this up here so it'll remain still as I shoot the rest of the video. Oh, look at that. Just doesn't want to stay. Okay, there we go. Now, hey, how's it going? Let's pull this out. Hopefully I am somewhat in focus as I take one box out of the other. You can see it's one of the later models that Commodore sold of the Commodore 64. This is the test pilot uh, edition package right here. Now I don't have the whole package. It's the original box, but we'll see how much of the package I do actually have. Let's look at the front here. There we go. I obtained this off a of fellow off of uh, eBay and I'll admit a couple weeks passed and I knew it had it had been sent priority shipping and nothing turned up so you know I shot the guy an email of course just to inquire as I was curious and he apologized up and down he was so sorry he had packed it up but uh, had stuck it in his warehouse and had forgot to ship it to me which, uh, you know, no big deal. It's not that I was in a rush to get it. Well, I guess I'm always in a rush to get these things. But he uh, fully refunded re, uh, uh, my PayPal account and uh, refunded the entire shipping cost. Uh, just bear with me here. I'm going to put on a little background sound for ambiance. I don't know if you'll hear it anyways. But we'll see. And... Uh, yeah, so that was cool of the, oh, cool of him. He didn't, uh, well, I mean, I guess he felt he had to do something, and he refunded my total shipping costs from U.S. to Canada. So, no, actually, no, it wasn't. It was within Canada, but you know, it was like twenty bucks, so it's not bad. So we got a joystick here. This is fairly common type quick shot. Oh, this one says Captain Grant. It looks like the quick shot model that I've seen. But anyways, uh, yeah, fairly common. <laughs> no big deal. Another joystick. Um, okay. What else? This is, by the way, the Commodore 64 C model. One of their latest models, actually. Okay, there's your power supply. As you can see there, standard Commodore brick. Here. 
Lastly, the machine itself. Now, as you can see, it is definitely a Commodore 64, not the more uh, typical, what's been often referred to as bread box or bread bin, if you're uh, from across the pond there, <laughs> model. Um, but right there, Commodore 64, personal computer. I haven't seen one of these in pro like 20 years, more than 20 years, I'd say. Uh, I won't go over the whole thing because it's a Commodore 64. Typical expansion ports, RF out, video, serial, cassette input, etc. Later model, one of the last released by Commodore, the 64C. It's got a slicker look to it. Uh, a lot more in common with something like the Commodore 128 or even uh, more closely resembling something like the Amiga 500 or Amiga computers. So yeah, that's that. Just wanted to share that with you. Better make sure absolutely that there's nothing else in the box. Pretty sure there isn't. And I'm right. So uh, yeah, pretty cool box. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Just a short little video show you I'm still alive, still receiving new equipment. There's some other things here, but we'll uh, we'll cover these another time. Let's just say I'm finally getting into the Atari computer line. And I'll close up this video by saying, uh, Gord, you know who you are, my buddy Gord there. Um, now that I have a Commodore 64, at some point I will get uh, the rest of the things that I need, play the Fantastic Four game, and this is dedicated to Gord. I'm going to get that damn thing out of the mud. Uh, what that refers to is uh, way back in the day we'd play the Fantastic Four game on the Commodore 64 and thing went, thing fell into the mud or the tar or something like that and we could never figure how to get him out. This was like an adventure text game. We could never figure how to get him out. Well, I'm going to get that Fantastic Four game again and I'm going to get the damn thing out of the mud. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I apologize in advance. Just uh, enjoy the pretty pictures. All right, that's all for now. I'll talk to you later with another Maximum RD video. Rob out.